This video is about the human and physical characteristics of geography, specifically how we look at what geography is and how we study that as a whole. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the physical characteristics or what is known as the physical for physical geography. We're looking specifically at things that are created by nature. This is the way a place looks, not specific, specific to that place. So the Andes Mountains are in South America. We have the Davis Mountains in Texas. These is, this is very specific as to how a place looks. The other thing is the cultural or human characteristics. I want you to replace the word cultural right here and change it to human. The idea is the same. It is man-made or invented, things that man makes, okay? We are looking specifically at language, buildings, roads, bridges. This is the activities that change the way a place looks or is represented. This is what people do to an area. Um, many Mexicans are, for, are Catholic. That's a human characteristic. Portuguese is the official language of Brazil. That's a human characteristic. Making sure to understand the man-made or invented piece is the key to understanding human characteristics of a particular location. This is a great little T-chart that I have. I want you to go ahead and copy this into your notes. This is looking at your physical and human characteristics, comparing them. Your physical would be your mountain ranges, your river basins, your plains, your plateaus, your wetlands. Your human characteristics are cities, re uh, population regions, fishing, power plants, religion, political boundaries. Political boundaries means like your state lines. That's what we're looking at here. An example of a human or physical characteristic is this. What do you think this is? Is this human or is this physical? This is a physical characteristic. What about this one? Human or physical? This is physical. What about this one? Human or physical? This is physical. What about this one? Human or physical? This one is human characteristics because these are buildings that are man-made. What about this one right here? This one's a little more difficult because we have water and we have the mountains on the side, which those are obviously going to be your physical characteristics. But the main point in this picture is the dam. Dams are man-made. Man Dams are not naturally occurring. These are things that man makes so that we can create lakes. In fact, most of the lakes in Texas are all man-made. So if you see a lake and you go out on it, like Lake Grapevine or Lake Ray Hubbard, those are man-made lakes. So that's a human characteristic. So that's not a physical. So sometimes humans can alter what the physical looks like. And if we alter it, that means it is a human characteristic as well. So make sure that you have this written down in your spiral. Make sure that you have the T-chart and you have a moment to take care of your summary. I want you all to look back at your notes. I want you to go back and watch this video. It is not a very long video. Make sure you have all of your notes written down because we're going to be applying this knowledge to a worksheet when you come back to class the following day. We're going to be looking at what we know as the definitions and then looking at some pictures and deciding is this a human characteristic or is this a physical characteristic. So make sure and write three sentences in your summary on your page in your spiral.